Doc Rich back at it again, baby. And we got, uh, apparently, I was reading through the comment section and y'all said the first diss track that Lupe Fiasco got wasn't actually towards Royce. It was towards Loaded Lux and Murder Mook. I thought it was directed towards Royce, but I, I might have had that confused or... Uh, I don't fucking know. But this one is clearly titled Royce the 5'9 This. Lupe Fiasco. He called it Steve Jobs. SLR, three and a half. That's what we'll be checking out today. Like, share, comment, of course, subscribe if you're new. If you want to support your boy, go and cop some of my merch too. The link is down below, as well as my Instagram and Twitter account. Go and follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, my Instagram and Twitter handle is the real Doc Rich. All right, the real Doc Rich is my Instagram uh, and Twitter handle. Go and follow your boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, yeah, Talk to me, Lupe. Right. I apologize, man. I ain't talking no uh, kick push. Last either. minute. So, what is that? Apologize, man. It's uh, last minute. So, let me ask for this in advance. SLR. Yeah. Say they lean on me. Niggas try to dream on me Told that nigga he can lean on me Fall asleep and have a dream on me Nigga Bro, that's that's something that he referenced in that first diss track So, are y'all sure he wasn't actually dissing Royce in that first one? Because of <coughs> Excuse me <clears throat> But in that first diss track He had mentioned something along the lines of The right hook I had you I had you leaning like lean on me or something, something like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, that shit smooth as hell. You know what I'm saying? And then he just he just referenced it again right there in a actual Royce. So I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like he was definitely coming at Royce in that first one. But y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. On me. Fall asleep and have a dream on me, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it takes niggas weeks. They need a comfort zone and some beats. Lolly gaggers to poly. Y'all did say that Royce, that that actual Lupe's diss track wasn't a day ago. It was like a week ago or something. I think I did remember seeing that in the comment section. Excuse me. Um, and he just, it takes niggas weeks. Niggas got got to get comfortable with. The takes beats. niggas weeks. They need a comfort zone and some beats. Yeah. Lolly gaggers to poly matters to go over responses. Get all laid and technical in their content. Press record. Then I bring the receipts. Lambda, lambda, lambda. I think that shit was sweet. I wish I could just kiss, kiss you, you on the cheek. cheek. Nerds have their hands in everything. Gangsters won't even touch the police. Mm. Won't you tell your niggas get that? Take some of them cool bullies and go and get some of my shit back. Your problem is that you ain't never had no impact. Kit Kats and chit chat and syntax won't make up for how much you sit back. I think that nigga. She, she said the problem is you ain't never had no impact. Bullies and go and get some of my shit back. Your problem is that you ain't never had no impact. Woo! Kit Kats and chit chat and syntax won't make up for how much you sit back. I think that nigga scared. He never leave heaven because he already did. Damn. Nigga, are you insane? What's the point in knowing how to point and aim? If the niggas you gon' bang look exactly the same, that ain't motherfucking cool. That's a motherfucking shame. Facts. This ain't no motherfucking game. That's why I think you are a motherfucking lame. We both wear glasses. The difference is, I was in school thinking it was cool. You was thinking of skipping classes. Listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. I did it on my first one and. <laughs> He said, listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. <laughs> oh, Lupe. Oh, you ain't got to do it to him. Hey, 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 listen. Listen, Royce, you got 24 hours. We ain't even heard the rest of this bitch, but you got 24 hours. Time is ticking. Time is ticking, Royce. Time, hey, it, it, and your time already started. Because this diss track is, is a few hours old. So, Royce, you ain't got no choice. We gonna need that diss track ASAP. No Rocky, you heard? ASAP. 
Listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. I did it on my first one and delivered to the masses. Your songs are immemorable, your verses are impenetrable. I ain't even listen to that diss record. I only fuck with you because your interviews. I ain't even trip when you call me a bitch. I was like, look at Salem, calling me a witch. Look at how they made him. Look how much they gave him. Look at all the assists. Nigga, if it wasn't for Premiere, you wouldn't be if it wasn't for. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, nigga, I got a dozen more. Hove think I'm Hove, Nas think I'm Nas, that's the trick. You ain't gotta think when niggas already think you are. Mwah. Your story Mwah. crooked and your book too. Pass the dumb shit, but you will shoot somebody's son holding sun chips. I wish they would've left Biz here and fucking took you. And all your Oh. Oh. I was about to touch on how he referenced the Sun Chips line that Royce has said. He said, "I shoot your son while he holding your son while he holding your son chips or some shit." And, and and Lupe just brought that up, but he just oh shit just got real. You know the deal. Damn. I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. Rest in peace to Biz. You got what I need. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Biz, man. But damn. He wished death on him. That's serious shit. Serious, serious shit. See, I ain't, I ain't know this, bro. Some, 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 somebody break down this beef for your boy, cause I, I've been out in left field somewhere, like not even paying attention to the action, cause like I, I'm, I'm I, I thought that was cool. Let me know in the comment section, please. Somebody's son holding sun chips. I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. And all your hyper technical hypotheticals in life, I've never met with you from a distance. I accepted you from the podcast. I've been kind of skeptical. This ain't our first class. This is just one of the several. I ain't trying to bash, but it was like you was off your schedule. You was throwing more than jabs. I was like, this nigga's incredible. We had to fucking edit you. I don't know what vegan Detroit vegetable Dr. Sevy diet infected you to think that we shared the same metrics or some. Rest in peace to Dr. Sebi too. Or is it Sebi? Sebi. If you don't know who he is, definitely look him up. Vegan Detroit vegetable Dr. Sebi diet infected you to think that we shared the same metrics or somehow I was less than you and I was the type of nigga that you could get really disrespectful to. I ain't never lectured you. I get energetic and joke. In real talk, nigga, I ain't never disrespected you. I'ma punch you in your fucking face. Energetic and joke. In real talk, nigga, I ain't never disrespected you. I'ma punch you in your fucking face. And we all think it's silly. I'm thinking like, won't this bitch nigga clean up his fucking city? I mean, you got all of the clout. You know how to bring all them niggas out. You can walk the walk. I mean, we seen you walk all over your house. But me and Mickey is geeks because you got some heat. Like, I didn't go to the closet and put guns all over the couch. Your mental health hotline, I think that shit is grown up. But you're the very last nigga that should be picking that phone up. I spit your verse to get immersed inside my enemy. And to remind you, they gotta go through you just to get to me. Subtle subordination, perpetual sidekick nigga. Sort of a station that you used to. So you ain't gotta get all extremely too personal on your albums when you're not surrounded by bigger artists to fucking boost you. Nigga, you called me. I didn't recruit you. But no regrets, I take it as a test. You know on your albums when you not so what you used to. So you ain't gotta get all extremely too personal on your albums when you not surrounded by bigger artists to fucking boost you. Nigga, you called me. Well, well. Calling him out. But you know, that. Uh, I feel like that's the that's the thing with a lot of lyrically inclined artists. They aren't as well known as they as what they should be. You know, like if we talking if we talking like lyrically insane rappers, 
they're not as well known as what they should be. You know, there's a lot of other rappers, and 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 I think I know why, and it's because of this. Um, and y'all can let me know if y'all feel the same way or not. If y'all think this analogy or this this uh, analysis, I should say, is correct or not. But <clears throat> these other artists that are more commercially successful um, make better tracks. They make better songs that 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 you know um, are more pleasing and are easier on the ear than somebody like a Royce or somebody like a Crooked. You know, like, motherfuckers like that, they, they make you sit back and think. Like, most people ain't trying to sit and think through the music. They just want to, they just want to vibe, bob their head, you know what I'm saying, have a few brewskis and, you know what I'm saying, the party. You listen to, you listen to, you listen to some King Crooked and, and, and the shit will make your head fucking spin. Like, you ain't even drank a, a ounce of alcohol at all and your head just doing one of these numbers. Like, what the fuck is, what, whoa, what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind it back like 20 seconds, because something just clicked to me that he just said like 20 seconds ago. I ain't even digested what the fuck he just said, but. And I think that's why a lot of these super, like, lyrically inclined artists, uh, with the exception of a, of a guy like Eminem, um, although he has made commercially successful um, tracks and music, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like his, I mean, look, just look at the sales, look at the sales. Um, so, um, there, there are exceptions, but I feel like that's the reason why the Royces and the King Crookets, you know, and, and guys like that aren't as well known as some other artists. And I ain't going to say no other artist name. I mean, could, those, those guys are good too in their own way, but lyrically, they can't stand toe to toe with people like Lupe, Royce, and King Crooked, and, and, and guys like that. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I didn't recruit you, but no regrets. I take it as a test. You said, Lupe, you gotta have some grace. Not be so haphazardly to put the truth all in their face. Now that I think about it, that's kind of half and half If a nigga asking you for the strap, why would you keep it in the stash? If you ran the world, we'd get defeated in a flash You really gonna be the boss, can't keep secrets from the staff I learned that in the streets, niggas sweeping trash Keeping my city clean while you was talking about beating a nigga's ass That shit is whack Long live backpack rap Fuck these monster drinking new age conscious thinking Farrakhan today, gangster tomorrow One foot in they sorrow, another foot in the trap Killers who easily triggered by a little nigga's attacks who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. <laughs> one one foot on a hold on what, what what do you say? One foot in the trap. Oh, one foot in a sorrow, another foot in the trap. Killers who easily triggered by a little niggas attacks who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. Damn, why you gotta come at Royce like that, bro? Facts. Hey, hey, listen, I ain't doing it, nigga, check this shit out, look, hey, in seven minutes he did it, if he knew how to freestyle, he could've rented heaven for seven minutes and been done what needed to be done by the second sentence, all this extra innings may come across as master, but my impression's apprentice, your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with, I ain't gotta say it to say it. Impressions, apprentice, your penmanship, headless extra innings may come across as master. But my impressions, apprentice, your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with. I ain't gotta say it to say it. I can't even blame you. The nigga's one of my favorites. I ain't gotta say it to say it. I can't even blame you. The nigga's one of my favorites. Bro, he try he trying to say he he he, he biting off him. <laughs> Is that what he tried to say with that? Ooh. Come across as master, but my impressions apprentice. Your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with. I ain't gotta say it to say it. I can't even blame you. The nigga's one of my favorites. Fuck that. Back to my status. All icy, talk spicy like the house of a traitor. Inwardly successful when outwardly I've made it. Clearly, if I was a regular rapper, you wouldn't even come near me. This nigga think he's Siri, your answer to your queries. What's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri. I'm excessively cheery. Promote my nigga's theories. What's an alien to a Pentagon report? I see your brother trying to chill eat. That's what he's supposed to do. And everybody that's fucking close to you, supposed to support.
push you forth and calm your black ass down cause they ain't put you in the source you chose violence I just wanna know when you gonna respond to Osiris and go to EO Dub battling from a judge instead of hitting smack and trying to entertain the thugs come and fuck with us nerds hey he, he just wanna know when you gonna step on stage with the battle raffles Go and do your thing instead of coming fucking with us nerds. Oh shit, that's the end. All right, all right. We, we it looked like it still had extra extra time on that motherfucker. Okay, okay. So that 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 was a diss to Royce, <laughs> without a doubt. Without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? Without a doubt, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That was. For sure, directed towards towards Royce, and uh, yeah, Royce got twenty four hours to respond. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't want this. You know what I'm saying? We 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 need the back and forth. We need the back and forth. Um, we don't want no week later. Nah, this, the beef already been cooked and and been eaten up and and shat out, digested. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff flushed. Nah, 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 nah. We we need 24 hours later, baby. 24 hours. 24 hours. Put up or shut up. It's it's time, Royce. It's time. Royce got the talent to do it. He got the talent to do it. Royce is a spitter. So, you know. I don't I don't I don't I don't see why he wouldn't, you know what I mean? But I mean he may have already dropped a response to this. I don't know. I guess I guess I'm gonna find out after this vid, but Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, what what was your favorite this off this uh this track uh that was directed towards Royce? Y'all let me know. Uh, who's winning the battle thus far? Also, who's winning the battle thus far? Comment down below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe before you go. <laughs> go and follow your boy on Instagram. Link is down below. I'm out.